Greetings to you all. This is Sean Van De Veen back with the, another astrology video for you. It's so wonderful to see you all once again. And I thank each and every one of you who takes the time out of their busy schedule to watch my content. It means so much to me. Today, I'm going to talk about another Pluto planetary placement. One that took place when new innovations revolutionizing communications and transportation came forth. Yes, I'm referring to the Pluto in Gemini transit, lasting from 1884 to 1914. During this period, the telephone, a device that would forever change how we communicate with others from afar, would begin to be used on a wide scale. A simple phone call could now be received by anyone instantly than a letter through postal services. As well, the automobile was introduced in 1886, allowing us to travel to destinations more quickly than by foot. This also freed many horses from human bondage. As well, the escalator, movie projector, zeppelin, radio, lie detector, as well as the motorcycle came into being. All of these share the same fundamental traits of the zodiac sign of Gemini, uh, which rules communication and transportation. The influence of Pluto during this period forever transformed the way we travel and see the world from a larger perspective. To better understand this placement, we need to know what both the planet Pluto and the zodiac sign of Gemini symbolize. In astrology, Pluto is the planet of death, destruction, rebirth, regeneration, transmutation, transformation, repression, secrets, the occult, and esoteric knowledge. It is personified by plutocrats, war, terrorism, nuclear weapons, atomic energy, and massive social upheaval. Gemini, which is ruled by Mercury, on the other hand, represents thought, communication, short travels, siblings, transportation, and writing. So, whenever Pluto transits through the sign of the twins, we can expect major transformation in how infrastructure and transportation and communication is revolutionized. It's also important to note that it takes Pluto roughly 248 years to complete one full cycle around the Sun due to its elliptical orbit. Therefore, the effects of Pluto's energies are generational, affecting not only an individual, but millions of other people. Pluto often spends many years, even decades, in a single zodiac sign. In this particular case, it was 30 years. So that is why at the time of this recording in 2023, there are only a handful of Pluto in Gemini natives still alive today with the youngest being at least 109 years old. As individuals, Pluto and Gemini natives usher in prolific change to the world with their thoughts, ideas, and expressions of communication. They are excellent speakers, and anything that ignites their intellect it excites them. They're into the study of a wide range of subjects, especially ones of the esoteric sort. Their love of travel will take them to exotic places, and they may even become urban explorers. They will have the courage to uncover hidden, forlorn areas few of us would dare to venture to. They are also blessed with the versatility and many diverse relationships, although they can be somewhat fickle. Pluto and Gemini natives are always in the process of reforming their minds to better suit the collective order. They are excellent problem solvers who come up with very original solutions. Their interest in many various subjects may be too broad to the point they won't have the patience or discipline to become a specialist in one particular area. The moniker, the jack of all trades and the master of none can befit them. They can be very sharp tongued and with the influence of Pluto, they tend to use their agile minds to, mani to manipulate others. But nevertheless, their aims are to improve society as a whole for the better. As with every video of Pluto I make, I like to highlight major historical events that took place in its transits through each zodiac sign. So, 
I'll list off those that took place between 1884 to 1914, the last time Pluto was in Gemini. The information I've collected was from wikipedia.org. Okay, so in 1884, the Washington Monument is completed in Washington, D.C. And in 1885, Gottlieb Damler is granted a German patent for the first motorcycle. And in 1886, the American pharmacist Dr. John Pemberton invents a carbonated beverage named Coca-Cola. And in 1887, construction of the iron structure, the Eiffel Tower, starts in Paris. In 1888, Dr. Friedrich Wolfert's motorized airship successfully completes the world's first engine-driven flight. And in 1889, the Eiffel Tower is inaugurated in Paris. And in 1890, we have the Ouija board being released. And in 1891, let's see here, the London Paris telephone system officially opens. And in 1892, uh, Jesse Reno patents the first escalator at Coney Beach. And in 1893, uh, Rudolf Diesel receives a patent for the diesel engine. And in 1894, the Tower Bridge in London opens for traffic. And in 1895, New Zealand enacts the world's first minimum wage law. And in 1896, the opening ceremonies of the 1896 Summer Olympics, the first modern Olympic Games, are held in Athens. And in 1897, Thomas Edison is grant granted a patent for the kinetoscope, a precursor of the movie Projector. And in 1898, William Ramsey and Morris Travers discover neon at their laboratory at University College, London. And in 1899, voting machines are approved by the United States Congress. And in 1900, Max Planck announces his discovery of the law of black body emission, marking the birth of quantum physics. And in 1901, the world's first passenger-carrying trolley bus in regular service operates in Germany. And in 1902, the Electric Theater, the first movie theater in the United States, opens in Los Angeles. And in 1903, the Ford Motor Company is founded by Henry Ford. And in 1904... The first underground line of the New York City subway opens. And in 1905, uh, Teddy Roosevelt becomes the first U.S. president to travel underwater after boarding the Navy submarine USS Plunger. And in 1906, Xerox, the global digital office machine brand, is founded in Rochester, New York. And in 1907, the first taxi cabs with taxi meters begin operating in London. In 1908, we have the official launch of uh, Henry Ford's Ford Model T automobile. And in 1909, uh, Louis Blois is the first man to fly across the English Channel. And in 1910, the first public radio broadcast takes place from the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. And in 1911, we have the first official air mail flight taking place in British India. In 1912, we have uh, the sinking of the Titanic. And in 1913, we have Adolphe Peugeot becoming the first person to bail out from an airplane and land safely. And in 1914, we have the outbreak of World War I. So yes, the last transit of Pluto in Gemini 
from 1884 to 1914, witnessed how inventions gave birth to new means of communication and transportation. These prolific scientific discoveries have forever scaled our planet down to one tiny global village. And I can only imagine what advancements will be made when the next Pluto and Gemini transit that will occur in the 22nd century will be. Perhaps at that time, teleportation devices will come into existence. Instead of asking a family member or friend to drive you to a particular place, they can beam you, just like in Star Trek. So, this has been my take on the Pluto and Gemini characteristics in individuals in history. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Be safe and kind to one another. And always remember, you are strong, beautiful, and powerful. Godspeed.